So let me give you a last example. That's my class this year. Uh, it's a class on HCI, human-computer interaction, and at some point I have to teach interaction styles. Whether when you do a task, it's easier to have a form, an online form, a drag and drop, a command line, you know, what is the best interaction style? And of course I could give a lecture, but I am a semi-constructivist, so I want them to feel by themselves first. So what do I do? I say, well, listen, you see this interface? Please order four train tickets. Yeah, please order a standard return second class ticket from Basel to Zurich with a bike. And this is called a window icons menu pull down, so it's a traditional interface. Interface one, interaction style two, they, have, they do the same thing, four more train tickets with, um, with um, uh, uh, a form style, interface three uh, with a drag and drop, same task, and then four more tickets with a language command from Lausanne to Davos, standard C2 return. Okay, so uh, for, uh, I have a class with like here, but what, about 100 people, each of them open his laptop and has to order 16 train tickets um, for the sake of the lessons uh, in random order. So of course, because I want to compare the performance in this four interface, some of them start with this one, some of them start with this one, and so on, so on. This is randomized, okay? It's not fun. Ordering 16 train tickets, it's not fun. Uh, some people do it all their life. Uh, my students do it for 20 minutes, so I have to encourage them. There is a, a scoreboard, and the winner gets a Toblerone. Uh, <laughs> this is orchestration. You have to, you have to uh, invest a bit of energy so that it works. This is a time management tool. I will mention it in, in a few minutes. And then, then we have the orchestration graph. So then I ask each of them individually, which one did you like the most among the four interaction styles you tried? the answer. Then um, I put in pair people who disagree, people who did not prefer the same interface as in the previous graph, and they have uh, the answer from here from Ryan, the answer from Jenny, and they can move that up and down and up to the moment where they agree, and they have a chat. Why a chat? They're in the same room. Yes, but this is a lecture all in this university. If I start to say, hey, you should now move and go to Jenny, you should go and move and chat with, with, uh, with Ryan, I will, lose, I will lose five minutes. And I cannot lose twice five minutes in my class. So uh, they use a chat. But it was funny. At some point, there was not a single noise in the classroom. I thought it would be a mess. No, not a single noise. You could just hear the noise of the keys on the... So they were really engaged, so they argued. They argued without knowing the data. So they argue, well, that I like this one, I don't like this one. Without having seen what was the, how many mistakes they have done for the four interaction style, how much time it took. And then we, we take the data and we have a second argumentation where no, they have to argue again with the same person, but by viewing the data about their own performance. So it's, let's say, database argumentation. First, it's just based on their opinion, second on, on, on database. And, and then I lecture. There is a time for telling. I lecture. In my own lecture, the system has collected all the data, like what is the mean number of errors for uh, the different tra train tickets for the four interaction style, and what is the time for the first ticket, second ticket, third ticket. So that's an orchestration graph. Instead of just saying, well, try a different thing, I've orchestrated that. I found people, the first I give them experience, and then so f for having them to reflect, I find people with contradicting experience, and they have to argue, and then they have to argue with data, and then I explain this data. That's an orchestration graph. And also, here I can show them that was their opinion when they were answering individually, and how much the opinion has changed when they were individually answering or collectively, when they were in individual or in pairs, and then we can discuss that in the classroom. 